Hi! Today, we will learn about the Earth's surface. I am Teacher Dada, your science teacher. But before that, let us read the learning objectives. At the end of the lesson, the learners should be able to First, state that the Earth is made up of a land, water, and air. Second, identify the different landforms and water forms found in the Earth's surface. And third, show proper care in the different landforms and water forms found in one's community. Earth is the planet where we live. Its environment is made up of three parts. The land, the water, and the air. Approximately 70% of the Earth's surface is water and 30% is land. Also, air covers the whole of the Earth's surface. Land, water, and air make the Earth habitable for human, plants, and animals. Let us read the poem and we will answer the questions regarding on it. Earth is a beautiful place by Leslie M. Magno Earth is a beautiful place to live where fresh, clean water is flowing. Rivers, lakes, seas are lashing, cover almost the earth surrounding. Earth is a beautiful place to live where high and low lands are binding. Mountains, valleys, hills are standing. People use the lands for planting. Earth is a beautiful place to live where clean, refreshing air is blowing, whether windy or sunny day is approaching. People, plants, and animals are breeding. Now, let us answer the following question. First, what covers almost the Earth's surrounding? The answer is, it is water. Second, what are the examples of land forms and water forms mentioned in the poem? The answers, rivers, lakes, seas, mountains, valleys, and hills. Third question, what helps the people, plants, and animals to breathe? The answer, the air helps the people, plants, and animals to breathe. How can we say that the earth is a beautiful place to live? How can you show proper care in our environment? Have you seen different landforms and water forms? They are among the natural formation on earth. Let's go! Let us learn the earth landforms. Landforms. Landforms are naturally occurring features that take shape on the earth's surface. They come in all sizes and shapes and each with their own distinct characteristics. But what are the different types of landforms? Now let us explore the different types of landforms. The first one is plain. A plain is a wide area of land with no hills or mountains. Plains are suitable for farming. Farmlands, cities, and towns are usually found on a plain. And our central Luzon is a big plain on the island of Luzon. Mountain Mountain is a landform that rises high above its surrounding that usually has steep slopes. Mount Apo in Davao is the highest mountain in the Philippines. Have you been there? And we have hills. Hills are types of landforms that are elevated above the surrounding terrain, but not as large as a mountain. The Chocolate Hills in Bohol is the most famous hill in the Philippines. 
We also have volcano. Volcano is an opening in the Earth's crust. It allows hot gases and molten rock from deep inside to rise to the surface. Mayon Volcano in Legazpi Albay is known for its nearly perfect cone shape. Valley. It is a long lowland between mountains or hills. The Cagayan Valley in the northeastern part of Luzon is among the known valleys in the Philippines. Plateau. It is a highland with a flat, wide top. Baguio City in Benguet Province is a highly urbanized plateau in the Philippines. Island Islands are defined as areas of land surrounded by water, which can be found in rivers, lakes, or mostly in the ocean. And did you know? The Philippines is made up of more than 7,000 islands. And wow! And also, we have desert. A desert is a landform mainly consisting of sand, gravel, and rocks. This landform has no permanent bodies of water and is usually found in places with very hot climates. And now, let us proceed in the water forms are also called bodies of water. What is the bodies of water? Bodies of water refer to any area covered by water. What's really cool is that many of the bodies of water all around the world are connected in some way. Considering that over 70% of Earth's surface is covered in the water, it's important to get to know different bodies of water in our planet. And what are those different bodies of water? Let us see now! Let us travel the earth and learn about these various water bodies found only on our beautiful planet earth. Ocean An ocean is a great body of water that covers much of the earth's surface. It is usually found between continents. Sea a sea is a large body of salt water that is connected to the oceans. Seas usually have land on several sides. And the sea is smaller than the ocean. Lake A lake is a large body of water that is surrounded by land. It is a very important source of fresh water. River River is a stream of water that flows through a channel on the ground. And this is the example of river. Waterfalls Waterfall is a body of water that originates from a high place. Bay. A bay is a body of water surrounded by land, except for the part which connects it to the sea. Harbors are usually built in bays for ships to load and unload passengers. Now, it's activity time! Let us see if you learned something for today. Activity 1 Name the landforms and water forms using the words inside the box. We have plain, waterfalls, volcano, river, and valley. We have 10 seconds to name the following pictures. Let us see if you are correct. The first is valley, plain, volcano, waterfalls, and river. Are your answers are correct? If yes, you are very good. 
Let us proceed in our second activity. All you have to do is tell me the letter of the correct answer. Let's go! First, it is a landform that usually has a rounded peak. A. Hill B. Mountain C. Plain The correct answer is Hill Number 2 It is the biggest body of salt water A. Ocean B. Sea C. Lake The correct answer is Letter A Ocean Number 3 It is a landform that has a flat surface A. Hills B. Volcano C. Plain Plain Number 4 It is a high steep slope landform A. Island B. Mountain C. Volcano The letter of the correct answer is Letter B. Mountain Number 5 It is a smaller body of salt water that continuously extends to the ocean A. C. B. Bay C. River The correct answer is letter A, B. Let us now proceed in our last activity. Write true if the sentence is correct and false if it is not. Number 1. Earth's water surface has high and low places. The answer is... False. It's Earth's landform. Second, approximately 70% of the Earth's surface is water. True or false? The correct answer is true. Third question. A body of fresh water that falls from a high place is called a waterfall. True or false? The correct answer is True Number 4 The sea is a mass of land surrounded by water True or false? The correct answer is False And the last number A desert is a landform mainly consisting of sand gravel and rocks true or false the correct answer is true are your answers correct if yes you are very good and thank you i hope you learned something new today goodbye